Measuring just under 6,000 yards, Honiton Golf Club is affectionately known by many as probably the best short course in Devon. A parkland course with relatively easy walking, wonderful rolling fairways and well-established trees and banking make it a delight to both body and soul. At 830 feet above sea level, you are also guaranteed some spectacular views. The club is 125 years old this year, 2021. It has remained a true members club all that time. Today the club is in a healthy and strong position. It is difficult to believe that it has been anything other than what we see today. But during the early years and the period after the Second World War, the members had to surmount many difficulties. The reason we are in this position today is due entirely to their wisdom, financial generosity and of course the giving up of so much of their time for the welfare of the club. The first hole at Honiton is a relatively straightforward start. A slight dog leg left, with lower mile pits hill on the left and out of bounds running the full length of the hole and the opposing oak trees mid distance. Club selection requires some careful consideration if par or better is to be achieved. Just what you would expect from an opening hole on a relatively flat, short course. Arriving at the tee on the second. The first of five par threes for the men and only two par threes for the ladies. Having played the first well, you are confronted with your best chance of a birdie. But beware, everything slopes towards Honiton, even your putt. Watch out for the concealed green side bunker on the right and the overhanging trees that could ruin your card right at the start. The third hole is a straight par four. On the face of it, it looks modest. Trees to the right till halfway, then a fairway bunker a tree-lined red penalty area to your left the rest of the way. The two-tier green slopes away from you and the green side bunkers push your tee shot perilously close to the hedge line on the left. The green side bunker, extended after our centenary year, makes the approach shot even more intimidating. The fourth is Honiton's signature hole par three for the men and a par four for the ladies. It's a tricky tee shot over a diagonal hedge line with two established trees in the line of sight. When in leaf, they make it difficult to see the green, which slopes from left to right and from front left to back right. If you are lucky enough to be on the green in regulation, you are faced with a challenging putt or two or three. The fifth hole is the first of the tough par fours. It is an intimidating drive through a narrow opening almost immediately after the tee. Hopefully, avoiding the standing trees and the fairway bunker on the right and the tree-lined red penalty area on the left with your first shot. From where your ball resides, you cannot always see the green. You are left with a blind mid to long iron into a sunken green running uphill from front to back. A draw shot is an ideal tee shot on this sixth hole, aiming at the large oak on the right. Put it anywhere but left. The fade takes on the line of the standing trees and the large oak on the left and risks tangling with the oak on the right. If the fairway is found, the second shot should be a relatively short iron into a two-tiered green raising from the ground, the only one like it on the course. The seventh hole is a driving pitch shot. Another par three for the men and a par four for the ladies. All uphill from the tee. On the face of it, it looks unsophisticated. Occasionally, you may have to take at least one more club than you think. Invariably, you will find yourself leaving the tee shot short, then having to play a delicate pitch shot into a tricky green, sloping from back to front. Passing the old clubhouse, you again cross the road to the eighth hole. A straightforward par four. 
with Marl Pitts Hill and the Out of Bounds all down the right, and the stand of iconic fir trees on the left. Fairway bunkers left and right, it contradicts its stroke index. It is a shot waiting to be dropped. If the fairway is found, a short to mid iron into a small two tier green will be left. Think twice as everything will be inclined away from you. The ninth hole is the first of only two par fives for the men and the first of three par fives for the ladies. The stand of iconic fir trees on the left and a strategically placed fairway bunker and clumps of trees on the right are awaiting your tee shot. If the tee shot finds the ever decreasing landing area, the second shot, a long iron or fairway wood should be kept to the left flirting with the next fairway bunker. A mid to short iron for the third shot into a small undulating green should not be a problem. Time to enjoy the view over the Otter Valley, but with a view comes a wind. The tenth hole is a long, straight, semi-blind par three for the men, par four for the ladies. With the tree-lined faraway common road and out of bounds all down the right, projecting out towards the green, and the standing trees on the left presenting a challenging tee shot. A long iron or fairway wood is required to hit the small sloping green. The prevailing southwest wind is an influence on this already tough par three. Par four for the ladies. Crossing the faraway common road, it is right about now you notice the 11th facility that doubles as a halfway house. Its existence is due entirely to the financial generosity of a few modern day members, who thankfully are still willing to give financial assistance and so much of their time for the welfare of the club. The 11th hole, a dogleg left, is the start of Honiton's Amen Corner. Most golfers cannot help themselves from taking too aggressive a line. Your tee shot will decide your fate. A risk and reward hole for big hitters, for the rest of us, it benefits from a cautious approach. Two long irons or fairway woods to a small tricky bunkered green all sloping away, a tough green to stay on. The short 12th is acknowledged by most of the membership as a card wrecker. Looking from the tee, it appears unexceptional. There is something visually wrong here. Perhaps it's haunted. Wait until you play it. At the 13th hole, the risk is too great for many to take out a big club here. The sensible approach is to take a mid iron to the marker post, leaving a shortish iron into the green through the gap. A wayward tee shot will mean you have to take on the tree lined lane from both sides or chip out. This is the only hole at Honiton without a bunker. It does not need one. The 14th hole is a short par 5 for the men, a reasonable par 5 for the ladies. If rare conditions suit, it could be an opportunity for a birdie. Invariably, the prevailing southwest wind makes this only reachable in three. With many hazards awaiting an inherent tee shot and a small undulating green, par is a good result here. Having survived Honiton's Amen Corner, you are now faced with four challenging holes, arguably the toughest four finishing holes in Devon. We now arrive at the hole we have been waiting for, the 15th. The toughest par four on the course for the men, a sensible par five for the ladies. Aiming your tee shot straight, avoiding the out of bounds to the left and the standing trees to the right. The landing area on the ample fairway awaits. Then a long sweeping dogleg second shot left with death or glory awaiting. Another shot into a green with everything sloping away from you. A choice is to be made on the tee of the 16th, a mid-range par 4. Either place the tee shot short of the bunker on the left and leave a long iron into the green, 
or take on the eucalyptus tree flying the bunker and hopefully not ending up in the fir trees on the right. Anything in between results in the cambered fairway taking the ball way down to the right. Another small problematic sunken green awaits. The 17th hole is all uphill and is invariably played into the wind. The tree-lined Northley Hill Road is out of bounds on the right. The otherwise straight fairway has a kink in it at the halfway point, encouraging the ball to reside in a tree-filled mound on the left. The need to hit a lot of club twice to get to a complex green sloping towards you makes this hole exceedingly difficult to play. A snowman waiting to happen. And finally, the 18th hole and the clubhouse in sight. If it were not for the fact that it is all uphill, into the wind, trouble left and right, fairway bunkers positioned where the ball invariably ends up, and a subtle complicated green, this would be an easy par four. After those hard hitting closing holes, totaling over 1600 yards, you may wish to partake in some welcome refreshment in the 19th hole. A warm welcome awaits you in this friendly members club. With 125 years of know-how in meeting and greeting new members and guests. Good food, a coffee or something from the bar awaits you. Whilst it may not be immediately obvious, you will look back at your round of golf at Honiton with satisfaction. You will be welcome back next time. You will want to come back as there will always be room for improvement. Measuring just under 6,000 yards, Honiton Golf Club is affectionately known by many as probably the best short course in Devon. A parkland course with relatively easy walking, wonderful rolling fairways and well-established trees and banking make it a delight to both body and soul. At 830 feet above sea level, you are also guaranteed some spectacular views.
after those hard-hitting closing holes totaling over 1,600 yards, you may wish to partake in some welcome refreshment in the 19th hole. A warm welcome awaits you in this friendly members club. With 125 years of know-how in meeting and greeting new members and guests. Good food, a coffee or something from the bar awaits you. Whilst it may not be immediately obvious, you will look back at your round of golf at Honiton with satisfaction. You will be welcome back next time. You will want to come back as there will always be room for improvement.